Hello. Welcome to the Master the Art of Flutter series. A step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners. In this video, you will learn about various networking concepts and how to work with networking in Flutter. Let's dive into the topics covered in networking. Making HTTP requests. One of the fundamental tasks in networking is making HTTP requests to retrieve data from a server. Flutter provides the HTTP package, which makes it easy to send HTTP requests. With the HTTP package, you can make GET, POST, PUT, DELETE, and other types of requests. Here's an example of making a GET request using the HTTP package. In this example, we import the HTTP package and use the GET method to make a GET request to the specified URL. We then check the response status code to determine if the request was successful or not. HTTP requests can also include headers, query parameters, and request bodies. The HTTP package provides methods and classes to handle these aspects of HTTP requests. For example, you can set headers using the headers property of the request object, and you can send JSON data in the request body using the post method and the body parameter. Parsing JSON responses. When working with APIs, it's common to receive data in JSON format. Flutter provides built-in support for parsing JSON responses. The Dart convert library provides the json.decode method to parse JSON strings into Dart objects. Here's an example of parsing a JSON response. In this example, we import the Dart convert library and use the json.decode method to parse the JSON string into a map object. We can then access the values in the map using their keys. Sometimes, JSON responses can be more complex, with nested objects and arrays. In such cases, you can use the json.decode method to parse the JSON string into a hierarchy of Dart objects. You can then access the nested objects and arrays using dot notation or index notation. Displaying data from a server. Once you have retrieved data from a server, you may want to display it in your application. Flutter provides various widgets to display data, such as text, list view, and grid view. Here's an example of displaying data in a list view. In this example, we define a data list widget that takes a list of strings as a parameter. We use the listView.builder widget to dynamically create list items based on the length of the items list. Each list item is represented by a list tile widget, which displays the text from the items list. You can customize the appearance of the displayed data by using different Flutter widgets and applying styles and layouts. For example, you can use the text widget to display text, the image widget to display images, and the card widget to create a card-like layout for each item in the list. Uploading and downloading files. In some cases, you may need to upload or download files from a server. Flutter provides the HTTP package to handle file upload and download operations. With the HTTP package, you can create multi-part request objects to upload files and send them to the server. Here's an example of uploading a file. In this example, we create a multi-part request object and add a multi-part file to it. We then send the request using the send method and check the response status code to determine if the file upload was successful. You can also download files from a server using the HTTP package. The HTTP package provides methods to make GET requests and download files directly to the device's storage. You can then use the downloaded files in your Flutter application. Conclusion By understanding and implementing these concepts, you'll be able to build powerful networking functionality in your Flutter applications. Alright, Flutter explorers. We've just scaled the peaks of networking. You're now equipped to reach across the digital landscape, fetching data like a seasoned web navigator. From building dazzling user interfaces to uploading epic adventures, the possibilities are endless. Now, unleash your inner explorer, build apps that connect, share your networking prowess in the comments, and don't hesitate to toss me any questions that might be lurking in your code. Remember, the network is a vast ocean, and we're all in this together. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, in the next chapter, we'll delve deeper into the world of tools and platforms, crafting flutter magic for any device. 
keep fluttering, and remember, the adventure's just begun.